Atkins here, and today I'm here with Sassy and Pumpkin, aka her sister. Yeah, so we will be mixing some slimes today. It's been a while, kind of a while since we've been on Slime Lab. And yeah, so let's get to the slimes that we will be mixing. First, we have this Play mm, um, like Play-Doh slime. It has mm. Play-Doh and leftover slime in it, and it didn't go very well after mixing a few things. Mm. And it also has some balls in it. And um, it didn't really go well, so it's kind of a fail. So we were deciding that we might mix it in with these other slimes. Then we have this slime. It's called the sea foam slime. It was actually really neat, but it's not good to play with because you can easily just do this. See, you can punch holes in it to it, and it's just not good. And I feel like it might need some glue or something. This was a failed version of the fairy glitter slime, but then but created into what were you gonna say well it's actually pretty cool because we actually created it by yeah. ourselves uh -huh. it's called the sea foam slime so yeah mm -hmm. anyway on to the last um slime based thing that we might not add in this is ublek and my sister will not be putting her or, or will be putting her hands into it because it is extremely um kind of messy and it's you might have made this before maybe in school or something because my sister kind of snuck this behind her back and then just randomly made it. <laughs> I don't know how she made it. But yeah, it's basically made with cornstarch. Cornstarch and water, that's corn all. Cornstarch and water, that's all. And then food dye. Yeah, it's she added printed. some green food dye. And if you haven't read the Dr. Seuss book, um, it's about like, why don't we just, why doesn't it rain just more than the stuff that it does rain? I don't know. Yeah. Well somebody creates this oobleck that now falls from the sky. It's green and gooey and it's kind of horrible. So. so when you touch it from the bottom, it's like hard. It's but hard when you underwater. Take it, when you take but it out, it gets all like Yeah, gooey. it like turns, in, yeah, it turns into a liquid. It's an odd texture. It's um really odd. So yeah, uh, let's get to the mixing. And then we're adding some school blue in case we need to because yeah. all these slimes are not very sticky. So mm -hmm. Yeah, they're would, actually not that sticky. Yeah, we would need some school blue. So we will be doing the mixing in this container. Okay, that's great arm. That's great arm. Sorry. Great arm. It's fine. Right now we're mixing in some oobleck and the oobleck is actually the one thing that wasn't a fail and like that didn't even go by any rules that my sister kind of created on her own. But the reason we're getting rid of it is because our sis, our mom, like, wants it out. So we're getting rid of it by not actually getting rid of it. So right now I'm going to be taking some chunks of the sea foam slime and mixing it in. Weird idea. It looks really weird right now. Probably should have made the lab coats for the cats. Now we're just adding some glue. So that's what the weird mixture looks like right now. It's um, very fabulous. BTW, don't try this at home unless your mom has a really long temper. Should we add some cornstarch? Nope. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Oh, it's actually kind of a pretty color. I guess so, yeah. It's just weird texture and substance in this. It's even slime, though. So we're adding more sea foam slime. Maybe that's better. I mean, that after all does have some sparkles in it. Pretty chunky. Yes, very chunky. Once again, is this even slime? Like, yeah. <laughs> See, this is why it's called slime lab, so we can do it before you make the mistakes. Guys, it's kind of big green slime right now. Um, my sister had to go, so uh, well, she's nearby, but she's just like, I don't know, kind of person. So I'm just, it's kind of crazy right now, so <laughs> sorry for bad quality. Yeah, my sister's out of the context, so she'll be because I want to work so much. Yeah, uh, great. Now I'm sticking my hands in it. I guess that wraps it up for this slime lab video. 
And my sister right now has her hands in the sign, so she can't do the outro with me, but she'll talk. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And in the next episode, we will tell you how the sign turned out. Bye! Bye.